Uh, the Vatican Secretary of State weighs in on diplomacy and the war in Ukraine. It happened at an event for Catholic journalists in Lourdes honoring St. Francis de Sales, the patron saint of journalists. EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser has more in this exclusive interview with Cardinal Pietro Perilin. We're here in Lourdes inside the sacristy of the Basilica. Uh, with me is His Eminence Cardinal Pietro Parolin, the Secretary of State of, of the Vatican, who addressed also the journalists who came together here for a pilgrimage uh, over those days. Yesterday you spoke about peace and diplomacy. Can you tell us a little bit more how this can actually be achieved? How can peace be achieved also through diplomacy and your strategy there? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I greet all of you. And uh, it was a, a good occasion just to, to talk and to reflect uh, on that issue, especially in our days when uh, we are seeing a lot of conflicts everywhere, starting from the, the war in Ukraine, which is a very, very a, a object of great concern for uh, everybody. Uh, I think that, uh, that diplomacy is a way just uh, to help to promote and enhance peace in our day. You know that uh, the definition, the traditional definition of diplomacy is another way. Uh, instead of making war, <laughs> we are trying just to solve our problem peacefully. And this is the aim of the diplomacy, especially the diplomacy of the Holy See. The diplomacy, it has at its aim this principle and main uh, uh, objective just uh, to achieve peace in the world. That, that was since the beginning, since the beginning, I think that uh, the diplomacy of the Holy See started just uh, to help uh, uh, to achieve peace in the world, and especially in our days. And then, uh, of course, we use uh, the means of the diplomacy, then uh, is uh, the dialogue, especially the dialogue, uh, and all the other means, the good offices, the mediation, the facilitation, uh, just uh, to achieve uh, this, uh, this aim. Uh, the, the, first, uh, the first condition is the goodwill of the parties, if they are really interested uh, to solve the problem uh, in a peaceful way. But we are there as a uh, we, we did uh, in this occasion not to offer our service uh, just uh, in favor of peace uh, and a peaceful uh, solution of the, of the issue. And what role, what role could Catholic journalists or journalists in general also play in that process? Oh, I think that, uh, that uh, because uh, we can fight not only with bomb, but we can fight also with words, <laughs> with writings. <laughs> And then I think that uh, the journalists have a, a, a very important role to play, just to, to help to create an atmosphere of peace, of understanding, of reconciliation among, among people. Really, we have to disarm, I think, first of all, our, our mind and our uh, speech. That is the first condition just to, to disarm also, uh, let's say, uh, to, to, to disarm the, the world, of, uh, to keep it free from harm. Then I think in that sense, uh, the journalists have a great, a great uh, work to do and, and great, a great impact to give to, to the, the situation. And uh, real quickly, what, what, uh, what is your message to the journalists here in, in Lourdes? My message uh, is uh, really because, uh, of course, uh, uh, they are Catholic journalists, no? according to what I know, <laughs> so I was said, uh, just to put uh, uh, their, their work at the service of the truth uh, and also to help peace and reconciliation, but also to help people to understand really what is, what, what is the church? I think that is a point, a special point that I would like to stress. The journalist, the Catholic journalist should help the general uh, public opinion to know exactly what is the church, what the church is doing, uh, and what uh, uh, contribution is given to humanity. Your yeah, Eminence, thank you so much. Thank you. And Lord Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN News Nightly.